hi there. I'm going to show you how we can use something in here in the Google Forms to help make sure you can do any of the equations you're trying to do in chemistry. So one of these type of things comes up a lot more with balancing equations. So if I click on this blue icon in here, and you can actually do that also in your answers, and students have the same access as teachers, we're going to click on this blue icon. And what's going to happen is this bar down here, this is the equatio bar, will appear. You have many options here, but I'm going to focus on the first one, which is the equation editor. I'm going to start typing in my equation here. So I'm going to go 2 Na. So we're going to have our sodium. Then we're going to add our bromine. And we're going to go plus, And we're going to add a little chlorine. And I do want to put a 2 here to, for the chlorine. So what I'm going to do is I have to do that subscript number of the 2. So to do that, what I'm going to hit is my underscore key button. So I know on my keyboard, I have to hit shift and it's like the dash and that gives me my underscore and now I'm subscript. I can hit the end number two and now to get back to the top, I just have to hit my right arrow key that will now take me to the top. Now, the next thing, I'm actually gonna put that yields arrow here. To do that, I actually just have to start typing it and you can see here you have a couple options. Obviously, I'm going to pick the first one here, hit enter, and now I can put the rest of my equation in. So I can go 2, and we have our Na and Cl plus Br. And I need to do a 2 again. So just as a reminder, I'm going to do that underscore. So for me, shift dash gets me that underscore. And now subscript 2, and I have to hit the right arrow there. And now I can just insert the math. And this will now be put into my question. And there we go. And again, so here I just have true and false, but I could have easily have created a quiz. I can keep going where I actually have equations down in the answers as well. I could do multiple choice, which of the following are balanced and so on. All right, so hopefully this helps you using with Equatio, with using Google Forms. And in particular, I did use a quiz tool here so that we can lock it down so that students can have that quiz environment versus just doing a survey of sorts using Google Form.